This video demonstrates Simulation Solutions' generic multiple effect desalination simulator, which includes a digital control system with three unique schematics, as well as a 3D virtual reality outside operator, which is paired to the DCS. Like all Simulation Solutions modules, these two programs are two-way communicable, such that any change made on the DCS will also be represented on the outside operator, and of course, vice versa. This multiple effect desalination process is used to remove salt from ocean water and results in two products. The main desired product, fresh water, and the byproduct, brine flow, which is returned to the sea. Unlike reverse osmosis desalination, this MED process uses the principles of distillation to remove salt from water rather than pushing salt water through a membrane, which is seen in the RO process. Initially, external steam is used to heat the process flow of salt water. This process tries to utilize maximum energy for the separation across multiple vessels or effects. This particular simulator contains three effects in which external steam only enters the first vessel but provides enough heat for the entire process. In addition to the steam, the salt water feed enters the first evaporator. The steam condenses and transfers its heat to the saltwater mixture, producing outlet streams of pure water vapor and concentrated brine. These two streams then enter the second evaporator, where the pure water vapor leaving the first evaporator is used to heat the concentrated saltwater in the second evaporator. This process continues to a third evaporator, where the pure water streams are combined as a pure water product after passing through each evaporator. It is important to note that the pure steam from the third evaporator is recycled and combined with the steam entering the first evaporator in order to increase efficiency. Now we will move to the second schematic and we'll see in more detail how different variables around each evaporator are maintained at their desired set points. We also will see the different flow, pressure, and temperature indicators which can be seen by the operators to ensure that the system is running properly. The salt water feed to the first evaporator is kept at approximately 250 tons per hour using a flow controller. The steam entering the first evaporator operates at nearly 28 tons per hour also using a flow controller. In addition, the pressure of the recycle stream is kept at about 60 kPa using a pressure controller. To control the brine level in each evaporator, level controllers are utilized to manipulate the flow of brine leaving each evaporator. You can also see that the pressure decreases with succeeding evaporators. The evaporator pressures are kept at specific values in order to ensure two things. One, that the steam entering each effect can evaporate, and two, that there is an appropriate amount of water resulting from the brine mixtures. Now we will move to the third schematic and see in more detail how the different inlet and outlet streams are handled prior to and after passing through the three evaporators. Before the concentrated brine leaving the third evaporator can return to the ocean, it must be cooled to an appropriate temperature. Therefore, it is important to note that this brine passes through a cooler prior to re-entry into the ocean. Cold seawater is pumped from the ocean at a rate of about 850 tons per hour and at a salinity of about 69 microsiemens per centimeter. To increase efficiency, both this stream and the freshwater product stream pass through an exchanger to cool the freshwater product and preheat the feed prior to entering the first effect. Now we're going to look at the 3D virtual reality outside operator. I will demonstrate what would happen if the operator chose to close freshwater product pump A and turn on the spare freshwater product pump B for maintenance purposes, and of course, see how this is reflected on the DCS. So now we will go to the pump operation. So on the left is product pump 120A, and on the right is product pump 120B. As you can see on the DCS screen, product pump P120A has a green light next to it, indicating that it is on and operating while P120B 
has a red light next to it indicating that it is off. So now back to the outside operator. If he were to start product pump 120B and stop product pump 120A, we will see that there is a change reflected on the DCS screen such that P120A is now red and P120B is now green indicating that it is on. It is important to note that this two-way communication just observed is true for any piece of equipment in the multiple effect desalination program. So now we will take a tour through the 3D virtual reality outside operator. Here you can clearly see all of the different streams, whether it be uh, salt water, brine, cooling water, or steam. Now we will go to the second level and you could begin to see the different evaporators. On this level you can read different um, concentrations of these evaporators and here on the top level you can read the different levels of the different evaporators. For more information on the multiple effect desalination simulator or any other simulation solutions products, please call 732-389-5400 or go online to www.simulationsolutions.com.